We are back again, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to let you guys have the exact same energy I had in the other video because I'm making three free plays for you guys right now, and I need you all to know the intensity of how aggravated I am right now. Going into today, we have a free play, March 25th, 2024, the matchup between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Sacramento Kings. Now, let's recap that Baylor game. They didn't get off the bus. They did not shoot well at all. They're supposed to be the top shooting team in the nation. Couldn't hit a shot. Couldn't hit a free throw. Absolutely ridiculous. That was my seven-unit best bet. They played terrible. But the Pelicans, I had them on a seven-unit play in the NBA. We capitalized on that. I'm going to cool off a little bit here because I am a little pissed off. We got to let that go. Move on to today. We have a full, clean slate. We are locked in, ready to go. And if you don't think I'm coming back for war, well, I am. I have some great plays today, and I am locked and loaded. Current performance as of late right now, 18-6 and six when it comes to college basketball. 8-3 and three run in my last 11 plays graded 7.0 higher across college hoops. 18 of my last 23 plays have all resulted in profit. I'm up over $6,200 on a $100 player. NBA, I'm on a 6-0 and run right now. We capitalized, as I mentioned, with the Pelicans yesterday, 7-unit best bet. And for NHL tomorrow, I have an 8-unit play of the year. Play of the year. I am 10-0 and undefeated since joining Docs on my play of the years. So check that in and tally it in. I do not recommend you miss out on this play. Eight out of my last 13 days in the NHL side of things have all resulted in profit. I am currently in profit $1,450 when it comes to uh, hockey. Now, rolling into this free play right now, we have the Sixers rolling into Sacramento to play the Kings. Well, Philly rolls into this game 39-32 and on the year, while Sacramento is now 41-29. and The Kings are 7-3 and in their last 10 games. They're coming off a nice win Saturday against Orlando. Philly, they're cold right now. They're 4-6 and in their last 10 games. They're coming off a nice win against the Clippers last night. Philly, they're 4-1 and in their last five games against the spread, and on the road, just 2-3 and against the spread. But for Sacramento, they're 2-4 and four against the spread in their last six home games. When laying double digits this season, 1-6 and six in their last seven games. Not good at all. The market has Sacramento extremely overpriced, and that's because Philly's coming off back-to-back -back games, and Sacramento plays real good basketball at home. This is a trap matchup. Take the points here with the 76ers coming off back-to-back -back games. We're nearly getting double digits. It's a plus nine and a half line here. Again, the market overpriced Sacramento. I'm not having it. I'm on Philly tonight. You guys want to check it out on Twitter. You can see my post. I will have the ticket posted. I am going Philly here. So that is my free play to you guys. Once again, this is Griffin Murphy from DocSports.com. If you have not already subscribed, you know what to do. And turn on those notifications. That way, every single time we drop another free sports pick, you will be notified. Best of luck to you guys and best bets.